I am Lamont at large. Today I am at the Forest Hill Cemetery here in Kansas City, Missouri, and I'm here to visit the grave of legendary Major League Baseball pitcher Satchel Paige. Ladies and gentlemen, right before your very eyes is the grave of one of the greatest Major League Baseball pitchers that ever walked on this planet. This is Leroy Robert Page, better known as Satchel Page, July 7th, 1906 to June 8th, 1982. How he got the name Satchel, well, as it says on the stone right here, he began work carrying suitcases at a mobile union station and devised a sling harness for hustling several bags at once. The other red caps would say he looked like a walking satchel tree. Thus, Leroy became Satchel and Satchel became a legend. This man pitched in a time where if you were black, you were not allowed into the Major League Baseball Association to play with other white players simply because the color of your skin. You want to tell me about racial inequality? Don't talk to me about a multi-millionaire spoiled athlete who has been raised in high society who had a good upbringing and nothing bad has ever happened to him. Don't talk to me about him. Talk to me about this man right here, not, not being allowed to play the game that he loved simply for the fact that he was black. When Satchel was 12 years old, he was often getting into trouble at school, ditching school, going around town, shoplifting, what have you. And they just got fed up with him. So they sent him to an all-black boys reform school. Them thinking that that was a punishment turned out to be the greatest thing that ever happened in his life. Because that's where he found that he had the knack for throwing a baseball really fast. That is where he learned how to pitch. That's where he honed his craft. At one time... Satchel was the highest paid pitcher in all of baseball. People would come from miles and miles around to just see how fast he could throw that baseball. Joe DiMaggio and Babe Ruth played against him in the winter leagues and they said he was the toughest pitcher that they've ever faced in their lives. Satchel also holds the distinction of being the oldest man to ever pitch in a Major League Baseball game. In 1965, at the age of 59 years old, him in the dugout, sitting in a rocking chair, having a nurse rub ointment into his arm, walked out for three innings and allowed only one hit. By the way, the guy that got the hit off him Carl Yastrzemski, he's a great baseball player in his own right. A Red Sox legend he is. Satchel says how to stay young, avoid fried meats, which angry the blood. And I love this last one. Don't look back, something might be gaining on you. I love that one. I might have to start using that one from now on. It's men like Satchel Paige that paved the way and gave rights to spoiled, entitled athletes to kneel and disrespect our flag, which I wholeheartedly support. Even though I disagree with it, I support the right to free speech, no matter how much I dislike it. It's men like this. It's men like Muhammad Ali who faced true race inequality. I don't really believe that there is so much today of a race inequality, inequality, excuse me, that I believe that there is an economic inequality. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're white, you're black, you're Asian, you're Latino, where you came from, what religion you believe in. All that matters in this world is one color, and that's green, baby. We're talking about the almighty dollar. Tell me somebody who faces inequality when they have $50 million in the bank. I don't know of anyone because I don't know rich people. I'm poor. 
<laughs> I'm poor. Uh, I'm a pretty big sports fan, and it, it was an honor to, to show you guys this grave of just a, of a of a great legendary baseball pitcher. And who knows? Who knows what he could have done if allowed to to play today in today's game? This man would be making thirty million dollars a year. He went out in his career with over twenty five hundred strikeouts and fifty five no hitters. Fifty five no hitters. <laughs> uh, that is remarkable to say the least. And sadly, he wasn't given a chance until late, much later in his career, where he was already older. To pitch in the major leagues. I believe he pitched about two or three years here in Kansas City. So, uh, rest in peace to Satchel Paige. Um, it's a grave I've always wanted to visit. And um, just here to show my respect for such a great man. Lamont at large, I'm signing out. <laughs>